it's your boy Chona back with another video and in today's video guys I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make enchiladas verdes I got everything right here I'm gonna be telling you guys how to make them what you guys need to be making it and it's pretty easy to make because trust me if it was hard I wouldn't be making it all you need is cheese onion tortillas and then I got four chiles I was gonna use five but I think five is too spicy you need cream of mushroom guys I got relata and then I think I'm only gonna be using this for the onion I got this and then I'm too lazy to be cutting up the onion so I got this guys because I don't even think I'm gonna be needing this just to clean it and then I got this the first thing you want to do is gonna be filling up with this I mean, you know your mom's Mexican when all she shops is at princess house so you don't want to fill it up at too much so I just fill it up to like right there guys Heat it up and then from there you get the chiles. I never even wash them, I'm too lazy to wash them. All the food I use is all, is all how I just put on there. You can call me nasty, but that's how I do it. You cut the steps, real fast, just like that. And then this pantin is here, my mom's guys. She brought it back from Chihuahua, so you know right away these enchiladas are estilo mexicanos, Chihuahua. So that's all you do. So guys, over here, all you want to do now is put the chiles in here. I think like in 30 minutes, 20 minutes, you could get like a knife and just poke it and it should go through. But right now they're really hard. So it's just gonna take like 30 to 40 minutes, guys, until it's ready. And then I'll get back to you guys when they're done. What's up, guys? So we're back and the chiles, like I said, you know when they're ready, when you can stick a whole knife or fork to it. Look, see, it goes through it. So right now we're gonna take them out. We're gonna put them in licuadora, cut down the cream of mushroom, and that's how you make it. Watch, guys. I'm gonna put the can of mushroom. So, guys. I don't know what would happen to our other one, but we have to get this one. <laughs> it's making me cough. Like this. There you go, guys. This shit cuts fast. Brand new. So now that you cut it, that's it. Para los trastes, you get this. Cut it out. There you go. Remove that. Get a spoon, guys. Get a spoon wash. Come over here. And then, also I'm gonna tell you guys real fast, look guys. I broke my mom's princess house cups. Look guys, princess house. You already know, if you have Mexican mothers, oh beach ass. My mom almost beat my ass when I broke her princess house. But she says that we can't throw them away because she says when she returns them, she'll get them replaced. So we can't throw them away till she gets them replaced. But like I said, you got the licuadora. Is all this, or you can use the, I think we got the tiny one, guys. Where is it at? Oh, I went to the store and there was two right here. But if you get the little ones, you have to use two. I went to the store of the Yokis to buy them. But I bought a big one, guys. And then um, you just put all of it in there. A spoon. You cannot throw nothing away. Everything's useful. So, let me just wait till I get all of it. I think on my other videos, I've been trying to do this video, guys. I've been trying to make enchiladas for a long time because I love enchiladas, especially if everything's from Chihuahua. I know other people eat enchiladas different, and like they use some people. The other day, my friend was telling me that he makes his mom makes it the salsa de mole, and I had never tried them like that. But my mom's from Chihuahua, so so this is how we ate them with can of mushroom, guys. This brand. Can fry them at. So that's it. So what goes in the blender is just a can of mushroom, and then this, it's pretty hot. But like the chiles, I, don't, I think that's too much water. Nah, I'm not for sure. I think it was too much water. But that's it, guys. Like I said, don't need that no more. I don't need that no more. Now what's next? How you put on the blender? Close the thing. And just let that go until that gets really smooth and then I see guys. So the next thing I'm gonna do is cortar cebolla. Cut the tips, not that because then everything will fall out. 
Or it's not that doing mass, no one's like, I think that you can't hear anything. So the next thing that you guys do, pelonar the cebolla, not that much, just like one layer. So pelonas. And then that's it. Once you do that, then that's it. You want to put it in little slices. I don't know, I don't know how I'm going to do it because I'm going to put it in this. Or I'm just being with one. I think I'm going to just cut it like this. Make sure not to cry because you'll cry. The reason why I do know how to cook this is because my mom always tells me growing up, one day if I get a girl that doesn't know how to cook or doesn't know how to wash clothes or clean the house, that thank God she teaches me so I know how to do it for the future. Hold up. Um, I think I'm gonna just do it like this. Fuck it, I don't care. This little pimento thing. And that's it, this. I thought you did So. All right, there guys, so that's it with the cebolla. I'm gonna use that. And then I put the other tortillas back away and I got the Mexican tortillas, the Chihuahua. Oh, si, sí, si sí están duras. Casi tostadas, ya. <laughs> so, I'm gonna make these guys again. We had to bring out the other ones from the store. For me, I think I'm just gonna eat two. How much are you gonna want, bro? I got my boy Arnold in the camera recording for me. Thanks for filming. I mean, how much do you want? Three. Three. I think my daddy's like, ¿Cuánto vas a querer cinco? Hey, cinco o cuatro? I don't think like four. Oh, cuatro. I'm going to cuar that again. And like cheese, I don't think we need a lot. I think I'm only going to cut like... And cheese, you don't need that much. I'm going to use like, I think for all of us, I think... This much is good. I think this much is perfect. I love cheese, guys. Like, if you know me, I love cheese. I put cheese in everything, extra cheese in everything. So that's it. I'll put this in the bag. That's a good That's it from here, guys. We're just gonna be Like I said, it's so simple to make enchiladas. Alright, guys. So this is done already. It's all smooth. So right now, you're gonna find this out thin, not too big. Like this, not that big like I said. And put it like here, right in the middle. Put it right here. Yeah. You wanna put oil in it? Not that much, but that's how we do it. We put some oil. And then you put all of this. I don't think it's liquid, I think it's pretty chunky. My sister's enchiladas always come out like water and stuff. That's why we don't let her make the enchiladas at the house. I would always make them. So that's it, guys. That's how you make the sauce for it. And then from here, you just wait up till that heats up. And then I'm gonna take out sartén, to the sartén, to the sartén, to right there. Turn that on too, wait till that heats up. And then water us from the queso. But like I said, guys, it's pretty easy. Any of you guys could do this. What's up, guys? So look, we already made the salsa right now. It's kind of thick. It's not. That's how I like it, thick. And then this is what you guys need. You need what a clay. I couldn't find this sable, but you need two of these so you can put the guisados in here. So all the manteca I can go the first tortilla. Like that. Oh, you inside it. And then after I'm done with this, I'll show you guys the final look of the outcome of how it's supposed to come out and how it, it's so simple to make enchiladas, guys. Like if you guys are just sitting at home, your husband doesn't even know how to cook, you don't know how to cook, you don't know how to make these, well, this is a good video to show you guys how to make them. It's so easy to make. That's it. Look, see you guys? That's the first thing. So guys, I also did want to tell you guys that thank you so much. I hit 300k views in two days in my last video. You haven't seen it on the video of when I go back to high school for a day. Go check it out if you haven't seen it. It hit 300k views in two days. I feel so happy because it shows me how much support I have. Another thing that I did want to tell you guys that I'm dropping two videos per week. This is my second video this week. As you guys can know, I'm not lying. I'm posting two videos per week this whole month. I just got finished. I just got a plato right here. I turned off everything. 
I don't need to heat that up. No, I'm gonna just heat up that right now. But fuck. But yeah, these todas tortillas for everyone here. This is how I make mine. I don't know how everyone likes it, and I'm like, like again, if you see Melody's video that she dropped today, go watch it. It's the one of her and I, where she was trying Sebastian Aiden's clothes on, and she also did one of her and I eating, trying the hottest buffalo wings. So you can see that I'm not a big fan of chili. I would not eat that much chili. Like my parents know, I'll hardly put any chili on mine because I'm not a big fan of it. Like, me chilo bien rápido, guys, and I don't like that. So this is how much chili I put in my, like literally, just like a little, little tiny scoop. Like a little bit, and that's it from here my parents put a shit low out. they're crazy put some ch some cheese on it i put a lot but i'm not gonna be cocky i need to make some for everyone so this is how i make my enchiladas again and there's that rose i'm gonna take some of my rose right now from the fridge i'm gonna heat some up for everyone to eat right now and then my mom's arroz is bomb guys let me just try to find it real fast so this is my mom she made arroz blanco last night this shit is bomb so let me heat some up right now in that so guys like i said i put some cebolla i made the cebolla too huge but like that's how i keep doing it guys just it's hot but just like that chile again here you go some cheese and i make four i remember when i was a little my grandma would only give us three i'm like ahorita me das otro cuatro nah she would be like esta que te los comes todos so that's it guys i only need four there you go cheese again that simple I don't know how you make them a lot of people like enchiladas with chicken on theirs and honestly well everyone likes them differently but I don't like them with chicken I've never tried them with chicken and I wouldn't want to because I'm, I'm not a big fan of chicken but I'd say I think this is my fourth one that's it so guys, I'm basically done with the enchiladas I did make for you guys, as you can see. This is the final outcome. Some arroz, ensalada, enchiladas verdes. All right guys, so I'm gonna close down the video right here. And if you haven't already, make sure to like, comment, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for my next upcoming videos. Later guys.